Im vorletzten Jahr wurde die Dokumentation Call Me Kuchu mit einem Teddy Award ausgezeichnet. Der Film handelt vom Schicksal des Rechtsanwalts und Aktivisten David Kato, der 2011 gegen das ugandische Blatt Rolling Stone klagte. Diese Zeitung hatte 100 Namen von Ugandern mit LGBT-Hintergrund veröffentlicht und außerdem einen Aufruf gestartet, diese zu töten. David gewann zwar den Prozess, wurde aber kurz darauf ermordet und deswegen vergeben wir seit drei Jahren jetzt den David Cato Vision and Voice Award. Als Preispaten bitte ich jetzt David Cattos Freund, Kollegen und langjährigen Mitstreiter Frank Mugisha auf die Bühne. Frank, please join me on stage. Hello, nice to meet you. Frank, nice to have you here. Which organizations decide who gets the David Cato Visions and Voice Award? Uh, thank you so much and good evening, everyone. Uh, we're very glad for the Teddy Award to accept us to also bring in the David Cato Vision and Voice Award. So the organizations that decide is the International Planned Parenthood Federation, IPPF, uh, GIZ, the AIDS for Netherlands, the Global Forum on MSM and HIV AIDS, Herbert Smith Free Hills, And of course, we have a committee of um, six people who sit and receive applications from more than 100 people, and every year we decide to give one person. Has, uh, has the assassination of David changed anything in the minds of the population of Uganda? Uh, in some way, it has, because we have seen uh, our government beginning to start a little bit, you know, to listen to us, because they can walk in the police mm -hmm. and, you know, rescue some of the people who are being arrested or who are being uh, blackmailed. Uh, without myself being arrested because of the risk of my profile and because of my colleague who was murdered, so they mm -hmm. don't want to, to risk that again. So what is the progress so far? We're not seeing much progress because already our parliament has passed the bill mm -hmm. and now we're waiting for the president if he's going to sign the bill or not sign. And we only have about eight days now to wait. Okay. So what does your organization, the Sexual Minorities Uganda, do? What, what difference can you make with your organization? Uh, we work with uh, international partners, we work with local partners, we work with regional partners to try so much and stop the homophobia in Uganda. And what we do is we try to sensitize the people around uh, mm -hmm. Uganda as well. And then we try to do a lot of work with governments. And also with the David Katovision and Voice Award, now we are supporting to try and uh, network with other, other activists around the world. Of course, we also give, an, with this award, we also give money, 10,000 US dollars. And this money is collected from people and it mm -hmm. goes directly to the activists to support their security. How dangerous is it to be an LGBTI activist in Uganda? Uh, it is very dangerous. I am very public in Uganda, so for me, I don't know where the problem will come from. It could be my neighbors, it could be my friends, it could be my family. Mm -hmm. So, but for the other people, mainly in Uganda, the transgender people who are stereotyped homosexuals, they receive threats on the streets, they receive threats in their homes, they receive the most threats every day. How do the threats, I mean, what kind of threats are they? Death threats or...? Uh, personally, I also receive death threats. I also get attacked on the streets. Okay. But the threats come in from all corners of, um, of society. But mainly it will be physical threats. People will get beaten on the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, people will get imprisoned. Uh, people will get blackmailed and ex ex money will be taken out of them by the police themselves. So why do you think uh, is it that in some societies there is so much aggression against LGBTI people that's actually growing? Uh, the biggest challenge we have in Africa and in Uganda, and I think in many countries, it is the extreme Christian evangelicals mm -hmm. who have told, um, who have said that, you know, homosexuality is not African, mm. who have said that homosexuality is imported in Africa and it's not there. And for us, we're trying to challenge that when we're saying homosexuality is African, it is homophobia that is being imported by extreme evangelicals. Of course, we're, we're mostly talking about Uganda tonight, but uh, what other countries are there that, that are showing negative development? Can you, can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, uh, there are so many countries. That, um, there is Russia, uh, there is Nigeria that just passed the bill recently and the president signed it. And of course, if the law is passed in Uganda, if the president signs it, we are going to see many other African countries come up with such a law. Well, thank you for being here tonight. And of course, we want to know who's getting the David Cato Vision and Voice Award this year. Thank you.
Do you want to let us know? Thank you again to the Teddy Hours for allowing us to have the David Cartovision Advice Award, and thanks for everyone who has contributed uh, to support this award, and the money goes directly to support activists. And this year's award goes to Setiavi from uh, Cambodia. Congratulations. Und bevor wir Su das Wort erteilen, wollen wir uns einen kurzen Film über den Preis und über ihr Leben anschauen. Bitte schön. The David Cato Vision and Voice Award is offered once a year to an individual who demonstrates outstanding leadership and courage in advocating for LGBT rights. This year, we're thrilled to offer the award to Sue Safevi from Cambodia. She was born in 1940 in Takio province, and she worked as a military nurse before the Khmer Rouge took over in 1975. Ultimately, she went on to found a national network of LGBT organizations to support local people across the country. ក្រោយសម័យខ្មែរកំហំក៏ដូចជាមុនខ្មែរកំហំគឺថាទស្សនៈសង្គមចារឿងដាក់ពាមដឹងទៅតុលាការអន្តរជាតិខ្មែរក
you want to give it to her? Okay. I would like to um, to pay my respect to you all, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, dear friends from all around the world. And uh, the David uh, Kato uh, vision and um, uh, voice uh, of uh, organization. Som group Anka Global Forum on MSM HIV and uh, the uh, Global Forum on uh, uh, MSM and HIV. I feel um, um, infinite uh, joy and um, pride uh, uh, in um, uh, being here. Uh, yeah. LGBT um, in uh, being uh, allowed to, to take part at the festive uh, awarding of the international uh, LGBT uh, prize in uh, Berlin. I am now uh, 75 years old. I am uh, overwhelmed uh, by uh, the emotion. I mean, this now, ban the tool pin one LGBT people that I have the chance uh, to uh, accept uh, the award of uh, the LG. Uh, a bit, uh, LGBT award, uh, international uh, LB, uh, LGBT uh, prize for the world. That man. That LGBT um, uh, this um, encourages us uh, to fight for uh, the promotion of uh, the right of LGBT in Cambodia. I think of uh, the past. I think of the, the torture and um, discrimination uh, I endured in the past. My parents and my siblings uh, discriminated against me. They used um, um, every form of uh, violence uh, to mistreat me. 
they chased me out of my family home when I was fourteen years old. I was deprived of education. Deprived of the social and familial comfort. I had no health, was abandoned. As a child, I was forced uh, to sell sex uh, to earn money for my living. And also uh, uh, for uh, paying the schooling fees. Especially in the the ruling uh, under the ruling of the Red Khmer, I suffered uh, torture and discrimination, and I was thrown into uh, the prison, and I almost died. This violence left. Uh, scars until nowadays. I'm fortunate uh, today uh, that I have uh, uh, reached the success uh, which is uh, very, uh, uh, which is uh, invaluable uh, for my life. I commit my life, my life for the fight um, fight uh, for the uh, LGBT people in Cambodia uh, to, uh, I fight uh, for them uh, that I could be free uh, from uh, torture, from uh, the discrimination against them uh, that still exists in um, uh, the families and in the society. It still exists uh, in the whole uh, Cambodian society. I want that the uh, Cambodian society uh, know about um, uh, human rights and the uh, right uh, and the gender right and also the LGBT right. And uh, I worked with the parents of uh, LGBT people. I'm uh, encourage them uh, to uh, re uh, recognize and uh, to uh, support their rights. And I uh, encourage and talk to the government uh, that uh, they should protect uh, the people uh, according to the law and to the constitution. And this is a word. Allow me to uh, fight and to serve uh, the LGBT people in our country. And that is what I want to do uh, for the rest of my life.
I would like to express my uh, deepest admiration and uh, I would like uh, to uh, wish uh, I would like to wish that um, the um, the festival of, of uh, uh, for the uh, award LGBT uh, sorry <laughs> LGBT award uh, international LGBT award uh, here. So, uh, it should uh, should exist thou for thousands and thousands of years. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you to Frank Mugisha. And congratulations to you, Zoo. Thank you. from uh, Cameroon. Thank you.